Hello and welcome to RM5248's extremely quick and extremely dirty tutorial on how to use Blender. Uh, when you start up Blender, this is what you should first see. Except for this right here, this is simply uh, this simply tells you which key I have last pressed. As you can see, mouse left because that was of course the last button that I pressed. Anyway, um, up here we have all the basic things, mostly the file menu, file, new, open save, save as, etc, etc, including import. Anyway, uh, nothing much important up here for basic stuff, v however, except for this. VE, of course, stands for vertices in the scene at the moment. FA stands for faces in the scene at the moment. And OB stands for objects in the scene at the moment. Now, as you can, uh, there, uh, we have the main 3D window uh, right here. There's only one window at the moment. If we wanted to make more windows, we can easily do that. If you move your mouse right here, right click, and click split area. You now have this little line right here that you can move, and if you click, you now have two windows. Using this technique, we can easily make as many windows as we want. For instance, if we go here, we can split this area as well. Now, if we want less windows, we can right click, click join area, uh, move the arrow, into whichever way and it will do that. Now, as you can see, uh, we uh, right now we are looking at the top of the cube. This is achieved by pressing numpad 7. However, since we're already in this view, this does nothing. If we press numpad number 1, this brings us to the front view. Numpad number 3 brings us to the side view. Um, that's basically all there is about that. However, if you press control and 7, that will bring you to the bottom view. Control 1 brings you to the back view, and Control 3 brings you to the other side view. We're going to go back to the top by pressing numpad 7. Very easy. Now, of course, in a 3D application, it is very important to pan and rotate. Panning is very easy. You don't have to press any button. You don't have to press any buttons on the interface. All you need to do is press down the shift key on your keyboard and press down the middle mouse button. This middle mouse button is generally the uh, scroll button on your mouse. On some uh, some mouse, some mice do not have this. However, you can emulate it using a special key combination that I unfortunately do not know at this moment in time. Now, on to rotating. Sh pressing Shift in the middle mouse button will get will pan you, and simply pressing the middle mouse button and moving your mouse will uh, rotate the view. As you can see, we have a cube right here in the middle of our screen. As you can see, there are three arrows on it. I'm going to rotate a bit and just let you see the arrows better. These, of course, correspond to the three axes in a 3D environment. Blue corresponds to the z-axis, green corresponds to the x y-axis, and red corresponds to the x-axis. As you can see, I have just moved the cube slightly. Over and out. Going down here, we can uh, change what this is by pressing these. If we press this rotate manipulator, we can now rotate it x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis, and x-axis. The cube is now slightly rotated. And this one, this is scale. It's now a cube. We can scale it along the x-axis, along the y-axis, along the z-axis. If we want to use more than one at a time, we can simply press Shift. This is how you select multiple things in Blender, by the way. Instead of using Control, you, pre you simply press Shift and click on this. Now we can both scale it and rotate it, and we don't have to change it down here. I'm going to change it back to the regular. Now, in Blender, there are two main modes, Object Mode and Edit Mode. As you can see down here, we are currently in Object Mode. By pressing the Tab button, we are now in Edit Mode, and we can now edit this object however we want. Uh, right now we are selecting vertices, as you can see right here. We can also select edges or, and faces. Or I'm going to click edges on the moment to show you. Uh, this is selecting an edge. If we press shift, we can select both these edges, of course. Vertices, same thing. If we select this vertice and this vertice using shift, we now have selected two vertices. Faces, of course, same thing, except that you click on the little dot in the center of the face to select it. Now we're going to add another object. Uh, the object is going to be added wherever the 3D cursor is. So, and uh, to add an object, 
you simply press the spacebar, add plane, cube, circle, UV sphere, icosphere, cylinder, cone, grid, monkey, and torus. Um, these are all things we can add. Since we are in edit mode right now, if we add a cylinder, um, it will only appear in that object, with that object, and uh, rotated to the view that you were in. So, as you can see, I'm going to press Z now to get into wireframe. Uh, the, the cylinder is pointing in the direction that I was looking in. If I go to top view, numpad 7, and add another object, we'll add another cylinder. That cylinder is now pointed in the way that I was looking. All right. I am now going to add another object to this scene. I'm going to go to numpad 7. Uh, press tab to get into object mode because now this will add a new object. So you see, spacebar, add, mesh, I'm going to add a monkey. And I'm going to press tab so that I can move only the object. As you can see, the monkey moves separately than this object which has the cube and the two cylinders. By pressing the G button, I can simply move it. Uh, and also by pressing the control button, I can snap it to whatever. It will go only go up by increments of the grid that you have selected at the moment. Now, I'm going to press Z again, get into solid mode. Um, I'm going to zoom in on the monkey here. I can either zoom in with the uh, mouse, zoom out with the mouse, or zoom in with numpad plus and zoom out with numpad minus. To edit edit mode on the monkey by pressing tab, zooming in with plus, panning up using shift and middle mouse button, and I'm going to select these faces right here using shift key, and the same faces on the other side, and now I'm going to extrude them. You can either press this big button here, or simply press the E key on your keyboard, extrude region. As you can see, it's moving this way. By pressing the extrude key, you can also um, constrain the movement to one axis. You can do this with grab, the G key, and size, the S key. So, for example, X will extrude only along the X axis, Y only along the Y axis, Z axis. I'm not going to show you that because you won't be able to see it. Now I'm going to press Control and move it up 0.3. As you can see, I have now extruded Suzanne's eyebrows here. Now, suppose I wanted to make a duplicate of this Suzanne here. If I enter object mode, and I press Shift D, I now have another monkey that looks exactly like it. And Shift D also grabs it by default, so we can, of course, constrain to the x-axis, z-axis, and y-axis. You can press control, move it up the y-axis, two units. You can see in the bottom left uh, how far it is going up. However, if I edit edit mode by pressing tab and um, duplicate this part of the Suzam, um, I'm going to press control L to sec select all linked, and press shift D, and can press X to constrain just to the x-axis. We now have another monkey in this object. As you can see, these monkeys are now one object and can be moved only with each other. The um, thing I'm going to go over is merging vertices. Press tab, uh, select vertis vertex select mode, select two vertices, and press alt m to merge these. You can either merge them at the first vertices that you have selected, the last vertices you selected, at the center point, at the cursor, or at the cursor. Collapse. Well, I'm not quite sure what that does. Anyway, we're going to merge the mat center. Now, if I press Control l as you can see, both monkeys are selected, even though if I did that before, they would not be able to do that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching my tutorial, and hope that you download Blender at blender.org. There's also a very good tutorial if you simply search on Wikibooks for... Uh, Blender 3D, a noob to pro, you will get it, and if you work through the tutorials, it provides a very good explanation. Again, thank you very much. This is RM5248, uh, ending uh, this very quick and very dirty Blender tutorial.